My name is Larry Lee. I'm a resident of Greenville, Mississippi, and currently uh, I'm a tamale salesman. Basically, the best way I can sum it up is uh, if you're not from the Delta if you know nothing of the tamale. It's, it's just as simple. It's just like uh, the, uh, the levy and the hot tamales. What can I tell you? Certain things have a flavor or, you know, you go to a region or a part of the country and every, every place you go has a signature something, you know. And for the Delta, it's the blues, it's the tamale, it's, it's the Delta. Like I said, a lot of the people that settle here are, you know, are out of town. You know, a lot of people, basically the Delta was built up on a lot of people who were just travelers, you know what I mean, going from one destination to another. And, you know, it sounds like a joke, but a lady told me the other day that she just stopped here to get some gas and ended up 50 years later, she's still here, you know, so like I said, on that note there, just imagine, you know, that's how the people melted here, like a melting pot, you know. And from that, you know, you get all kind of cultures and ideas, and, you know, you share with me, I share with you, and for a long boom, what can I tell you? Something came out of it, and, uh, you know, the tamale was one of those things. And, like I said, uh, I've traveled a lot of places, you know, all over the United States, and uh, it's just a tradition right here. You know, I've been a lot of places, big cities, and you, you can find a tamale, but you can't find a Delta tamale. You know, like I said, my boss, man, this is Williams Harmon, one of his sons. Uh, he scouts out, you know, it's part of his job too, not just to sell them, but to scout out locations, uh, uh, talk to various managers and, uh, you know, uh, property owners or whatever, just to try to get to where you can reach the people. And County Market, like I say, is a, a well-established grocery store and chain, and uh, a lot of people come here. So it's a chance for exposure and things like this. And, like I said, some people have never eaten tomato, you know, and sometimes I get to chit-chat with people, and influence, persuade, suggest, you know, that you take a chance. You know, life is a chance. You know, you're going to live your whole life and you never took a chance on anything. Take a chance on something, you know. Might not, you might not.